This dipshit has never heard of the term false equivalency. I love how he completely whitewashes the fact that we slaughtered the fucking Native Americans, wiped out their goddamn culture, and left them to rot on reservations in the Southwest. Unless you've actually driven through those, seen the abject fucking squalor they live in, how they sell necklaces and jewelry while you're at a gas station, it, trying to make it just a person, an Indian on a stick of butter, fucking mutant has no idea what he's talking about. The Mongolian Empire, the Greeks, the Persian Empire, the Dahomey Kingdom, the Ottoman heck even the native american that we're speaking of had committed countless genocide and atrocity in order to move their empire forward to expand their territory now there's two things i think that's going on here either we're looking at the european or white people as a whole as if they should have known better they should have known what's right and what's wrong whereas all the other races that committed the same genocide and the same atrocity didn't know any better as if like a little child that didn't know any better or something like that. But wouldn't that also put white people as a superior as a superior race? Or, or we're dealing here with something called selective outrage. Now, based on my few interaction with you, I don't think you believe that white people are superior than any other race. So then I'm guessing that you are dealing with something called selective outrage. Because let's face it, you and I both don't give a crap about what happened in the past. We're simply using these examples as a way to win an argument, whether it's an emotional point or that we're trying to score, but we don't give a crap. How do I know this? Heck, we're still buying Apple product and all the cheap stuff that is made by slave labor. We still don't give a crap about what's going on in Libya right now, which they have a slave market after we... You know, United States got rid of Gaddafi and, you know, all that crap in the Middle East. Now, you may think your boycott was superior than the, what's going on with Budweiser, but here's the difference, right? I never really come across any Indian that was protesting Lando Lake. I never really come across any black people that was protesting and Jemima. It was just a whole bunch of angry white leftists that feel like they needed to get rid of people of color on these products. Whereas beer drinkers are the one boycotting the product which they use. They say, okay, well, you wanna support you wanna do some goofy shit with the thing that I like? Okay, good. I'm just not gonna buy your product. You could still buy Budweiser if you want to. Heck, you should support them. I'm just not gonna spend my money on them. 